What's going on everybody? So just as promised, we're going to be giving you some Mike Vick full legend gameplay. Now for everybody that's been watching me stream on Twitch at G Miles World, you've already seen some electrifying plays. Um, obviously I had to change my playbook. Um, I went from Buffalo. I tried a couple um, different running gun type styles because if you have a running, uh, you know, running quarterback like Vick with a 92 speed, um, you're going to want to make sure that you can utilize his legs and not just with just scrambling. Because what happens is the number one defense in the game for bums is cover for a drop. So if you're that type of individual that run it, that's fine. If you're a sub, I love you, bro. I'm just saying you're a bum, though. Look, it doesn't matter if you're a bum, though, because bums win more games than pros. So that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, and that's the way it's been for a lot of years with Madden going forward. So it doesn't really matter. If it works for you, I want you guys to use it. It's my job and everyone else's job to stop what you're doing. As long as you're not DC, you know, DC glitching the game, um, you know, pause glitching, doing stuff like that to get free wins. Everything is all good, bro. Like, come out running cover for a drop. Like, yo, you don't give a F about anything. That's fine, bro. I, I appreciate you, bro. Like, DJ Khaled, I appreciate you. Like, just keep doing what you do. It is what it is, right? But we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to explain to you why Michael Vick is probably the best quarterback in the game. And he is, okay, look, go ahead, drop that ball real quick. Um, he's better than Carson Wentz, and I'm going to tell you why. Not it, It's it's something about him now being able to utilize his speed. Now, if you played Madden 16 and 17, you would have known that the quarterback, it didn't matter how fast your quarterback was, he would just stay behind the line of scrimmage and run just as slow as everybody else. EA Sports has done a great job of implementing speed for the quarterback position a lot better than the two previous years. To be honest, I don't ever think they're going to get to that level to where Vic was in Madden 04. Like the video right now if you played Madden 04 because Vic was godlike in that game and I still have nightmares because I didn't want to use, you know, like when I used to hustle uh, with Madden and play games, whatever, I never used um, the actual, I didn't use the Falcons. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. Use, I used the Vikings because of Mike Vick. And, I mean, not, what, why did I say Mike Vick? Because of Randy Moss and Culpepper with the, the arm, the arm throw. Well, did I say arm throw? The throw power. I'm just saying all kinds of craziness with the throw power. There was a lot of glitchy plays with Randy Moss. Randy Moss was probably the best player low key for a very long time in Madden. And oh, I just threw that right through his body. You saw the way his hand was. I, I I don't know what he was doing. I don't know if I should play that song for you guys. Should I play that song for you guys? I don't know. A lot of you guys haven't really heard my song through my body, have you guys? I'm not sure if you guys have heard it. I might have to link it to you, bro. I'll put it in the video because uh, a lot of you guys, we talk about it, but I made a song called Through My Body, and it just looks like the EA Sports staff loved it that much that they want to keep doing it. Um, you will see now that my guys are catching the ball. I have no idea why that's going on. But like I said, getting back to what I was saying about Mike Vick in 04, this year right now, the way the game is, even with the newest patch, Mike Vick moves around like Mike Vick. So even, look, like, look, just put it like this. The, the teams that you play against are going to spy you. So if you don't have read option, Vic is kind of useless, okay? Because the spy, no matter how fat and slow your spy is, depending on where they put the spy, he's going to run him down behind the line of scrimmage. But with the read option, if, the, if they don't read it properly and Mike Vic takes off, which is going to happen in this game, but it's not going to be on a read option, I'm just going to uh, do a broken play and just run around and show you that Mike Vic is pretty much Barry Sanders. Um, he has Barry Sanders traits. Like, you're not taking him down. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's very elusive. And again, he's very, very fast. So I think overall, because he can make the throws, he has a 95 throw power with Kem. Um, you know, his deep throw accuracy is very, very high. His short throw and stuff like that, it's in the 80s, but he doesn't miss those throws if his feet are set. Um, a lot of the things that people were complaining about, it, you know, oh, overthrow this, overthrow that. He doesn't overthrow those drag routes and stuff like that if his feet are set. Um, if his feet aren't set, he will throw it into the stands. Um, I will confirm that. I'm not going to tell you guys BS. He will do it. But if you're able to stop moving around and just stand still, he will, in fact, uh, throw very, very accurate passes. So you guys may have seen me rage sell OBJ and you see him in his game right now. This is because this was one of the first. Oh, okay. Run it for six, LaShawn. Run it for six, though. Keep going. Nobody chase him down. Nobody. Ch yeah, yeah. Everybody go. Yeah, do whatever you want, bro. Yo, pick my mom's up for a date after you're done, bro. All right. So look. The bottom line. Oh, nice dance. Nice dance, LaShawn. Um, the bottom line about the entire quarterback controversy is if you can afford a Michael Vick, I believe he's worth it. But again, you're going to have to run a read option offense. You're going to need read options somewhere in your playbook because what they're going to do is they're going to run cover for a drop, right? And they're going to spy one of the, one of the um, you know, the, the rushing linemen. They're going to send two people. And what's going to happen is they're going to block shed your entire O line like, they're, like everybody on their D line is Jesus. The two guys that are coming in are going to come right into your backfield, right? And they're going to sack Vick. But with the read option, it throws everything off 
Because if you hand it off to the running back or you do something like I just did right there with like a simple run play, they don't know how to play it. Um, if you guys want me to go further in depth with it, I will to explain to you the type of offense you have to run with Vic. But um, pretty much you're going to want to have that read option action going on because it's going to be very, very essential to what you do um, coming out of everything. All right. Like when you, like the set that I'm in right now and I'm running the ball and stuff like that, you guys know I want to air it out. You know what I'm saying? TSG, I'm the street god now. You know, it's no more swerve in the game, so we're the street god. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys sub to me on Twitch, you will get that TSG emote to go ahead and floss, you know, proudly. Um, but again, you have to be very, very careful with what you do. Can you see how he's able to move so quickly? Um, that quick move right there, and he was going to send the spy, they have to send the spy. So more than likely, all the time they're going to have spies. It's always going to be a spy on Mike Vick. So you can assess, that'll help your run game that much. If you come out with a regular, you know, passing offense that doesn't have read option, they will know. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to know. Like, if you just come out like how I usually was doing it, that's why I was losing some games when I first got Mike Vick because I, I had to adjust my play style. I can't come out with my regular passing offense, you know what I'm saying, running the Chargers playbook. Like, yeah, bro, I'm about to run, uh, run stretch and, and run some, you know, some post routes. It's not going to work because I can't really scramble. And then with the, in addition with the contain and the spy, very, very hard to get outside the pocket. You start running read options, though, and then you see what the defense does. Um, and it's, it's, it's like pretty much the consensus. Even if you're playing a lot of guys that run, you know, what the quote-unquote pros run, like 3-3-5 odd and stupidness like that, or the 3-3-5, um, you know, the normal with the regular cover two blitzes and they put the middle linebacker in a deep blue, Depending on what you see, like right there, I was, I was kind of like edging up. That was kind of wild. And then he drops that OBJ. That's one of the reasons why he's gone. I know you might say he's in coverage, but I got news for you. Fred, Freddie B, Belitnikoff, he would have caught that. Um, Michael Irvin, 94 catching traffic, he would have caught that. So it was worth it for me to get rid of OBJ. But listen, again, depending on the defenses that these people are playing, you're going to experience cover four drop a lot, right? So here's what it is. We all know at this point, and if you don't know, Cover four drop is a very, very maniacal defense that was made by Satan and put into the game. So what you have to do, the, once you see somebody running cover four drop, this is what I want my viewers to do and my subs. I want you guys to put on shoe clock and run draws and halfback bases, primarily out of bunch or wide trips. It eats up cover four drop like you wouldn't believe. It's going to be a boring game, but as long as they stay in cover four drop every play, which I believe some people that are selling eBooks are putting that in as a base. Um, it's like a base defense. And it is a defense that locks up a lot of things. So what you want to do is get out of the game very, very quickly. Because if you start playing around with it and you want to do stuff like run, you know, you could do stuff like run the, up the, the post routes, you know, put somebody on, a, uh, put your tight end on a comeback route and stuff like that. You could do a lot of all that, but that will make you score too quickly. And a lot of people are not gauged to sit through an entire game trying to figure out what to do. And, oh, yeah, Jemaya told me to do this. So you come out, you run draws, and you run halfback base. Those are two run plays that just completely eats up cover four drop. Now, cover four drop is very, very successful against most of the run plays in the game. Stretch, um, you know, power O, stuff like that. Not good against draws. Not good against halfback bases and shotgun. It just doesn't work for them. So that's something that I want you guys to utilize because I believe that it'll make you better Madden 18 players. What Madden, what Madden 19 will bring, I have no idea. But I have my heart medication ready. And that's just on me. You see what I'm saying? I logged in, but my job as a commentator and, and a YouTube personality for Madden is to make you guys understand we can all be great. We just got to know what plays work and what doesn't work. Because to be honest, my guy going to drop the pick right there. Oh, he picked it. I thought, yeah, well, Barry dropped it. Um, it had to be a tip pick. You know, everything has to be a tip. Um, in order for you guys to be successful, I want you guys to be able to look at certain schemes and understand what works. You don't need ebooks. You just need time in the lab. Because the game is easy enough for anybody to be able to get better with it and to compete. And that's just the way it's been for a while now. So I want you guys to understand that I want the comment section to be as clean as possible with people, you know, putting around different methods to get better. Um, if you have suggestions, do it amongst yourselves. Obviously, I don't really care for your suggestions. I'm just being honest because I like to figure out things myself. That's just me. That's just my personality with it. Um, but you guys can talk amongst yourselves. Keep it respectable and everything is all good. Anything outside of that, we have to set a better example. So we don't want the internet thuggery going on. So dudes will be banned with the Thor hammer. And right here, look at this play right here. I'm about to show you guys, right? This is just a regular broken play. Mike Vick is so fast and so elusive. You once he bro, ugh, ugh, once he gets into the open field, that's what makes him the better QB. 
He can make all the throws. And if he breaks outside the pocket, you're not tackling him. If you do hit stick him, he will fumble every time. But if you juke at the right time, you spin at the right time, you're not tackling Mike Vick. So why I'm telling you he's the best quarterback in the game right now is because he's pretty much a running back playing quarterback. But he also has quarterback accuracies, better deep throws, and stuff like that. He's a very, very dangerous quarterback. But I have to completely, and listen, I'm trying to make you guys understand completely about this. You must run a read option offense to make him that much more scarier. And once you do that, they have to put spies. It opens up your run game. It opens up the passing game and everything like that. And then once you catch them slipping, you can do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? But that I'm just letting you know how I've been more successful with it. I had to change from the Chargers playbook. I experiment, experimented with the Seattle Seahawks, tried the Bills, things like that. And you will get better. If you have Vic or any other uh, quarterback, uh, pick, run out. you see, and he's in a blue route. And Barber just picked that because of his own coverage. But that's another story because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This guy's going to go ahead and go slap box with his cockroaches in his house. So he had to go and, um, you know, he's going to go ahead and concede. Let me know what you're thinking about Vic. Drop a like, share it. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. G Myers World. One love.